Tonight, Gilmar and I are truly honored to have our local ninja on the episode. Tonight, we're hosting the Doylestown Ninja, local public figure, uh, com community promoter. Um, I love the bio description he's got. There's no negativity in this dojo, so we're pretty excited to have him on. I've uh, seen him out and about a few times. I don't know if you've ever run into him. He... Uh, he seems to have an entourage everywhere he goes, um, and he seems like an, an all-around good ninja, has some good vibes, and I'm pretty pumped to have this guy on the show because it just seems like he 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 brings the the character wherever he goes, and he also just seems like he he's a uh, no, no-bullshit ninja that just is nice to everybody and just spreading the love. So give it up for the new town, or fucking God damn it. <laughs> this is all saying it. <laughs> Give it up for the Doylestown Ninja. There is no Newtown Ninja because Newtown doesn't have that kind of have that kind of people. They don't have the strength, the inner strength <laughs> to be it. ninja. Exactly. That's what I'm going with. There's not even any samurai in Newtown. Not even no, that. Not even weak ass samurai. Weak ass samurai. No ninjas. There's a farmers market, so there's some Mennonites in Doyle, <laughs> in Newtown, but they don't have any ninjas. Yeah. And that's good for our boy here. That is good for our boy. No competition. No competition for the ninja, so if, I mean, I mean, maybe maybe we can create maybe this episode will create a new town ninja, and the positivity will spread. If you're out there listening and you want to be the new ninja, no negative ninjas, no negative ninjas. So that's where we got yeah. the town ninja. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Just stabs me before the show gets started. Give me two of these things. Say less. Say less, bro. Here's two. I like the fact I was gonna bring that real one. I was like, that's probably dangerous. I was thinking about bringing a real one too. We just, I just forgot. Working legit. I'm pumped for this. We were so pumped to have you on the show just because your likeness is just like well known in Doylestown which is like a pretty small town when you really think about it but you just kind of like your consistency your vibe um what like we were really curious like how this got started what like like you obviously can wield a sword around here you were twirling the swords before we got started so we're definitely not gonna work kind of i was like oh shit dude <laughs> we might get hurt in here yeah. never um Wouldn't so i guess we'll get started with well one welcome thank you thank you for having me yeah of course uh how how did this all how did this happen it's kind of a kind of a weird story to be honest with you um so not to bring it up no no woe is me stuff right now but i was married at one point okay and she actually always told me to do something more with my talents. And literally, I sat in the basement and played Xbox. Okay. And then one day, unfortunately, I got divorced. Okay. okay. So, like, um, I decided, I was like, you know, I can't be doing this, man. I'm, like, wasting my life. Yeah. Thing. And then COVID came around. And I hate to give COVID the whatever right now, but the mask was acceptable. Because if we would have did this a year before... They, people would have called the cops. Like, oh, there's a dude, <laughs> there's a dude walking around with a mask. I'm dead serious. Like, look at this weird. You're not wrong. I mean, they still say that now, but it's less weird. It's more acceptable. Um, so one day it was cold out. I had my mask on because I just got back from a doctor's appointment. Put a hood on. I'm like, I'm gonna be a ninja. <laughs> I'm gonna be the ninja. And the ninja was born. The ninja was born during yes. COVID. Then. During COVID, yes. And also, there's more to it than just that. It's kind of like. It was such a dark period in time for most, like, people being stuck at home and all that. I'm like, I got to get out there and start doing something to make people laugh or smile. Yeah. And that's kind of what it went. And it went from, like, making, if you go back on my, my Instagram or whatever, you see some really weird videos. <laughs> <laughs> like I I'm saw not, you, like, jumping around on a playground, twirling a baton. That was, that was actually fun. My hand wraps, when I fell off the swing, my hand wraps got caught on the chain. We did, yeah. see, we did <laughs> see the video of him falling off the swing. Well, you kept going. Oh, of course. You always got to persevere against anything that challenges you. So that's like a that's part of my message and stuff like that. But um, so the ninja kind of came out. It started out very goofy, 
the first video I think I ever created was going in front of Applebee's and doing some random kata where people were staring at me and cracking up. So you were using And I had Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch blasting at the same time with, like, feel the vibrations. That's, <laughs> so it but was, that's awesome, though. It was so – yeah. It, it, thank you. It's I appreciate whatever. that. But it was so – it had no meaning back then. And then, like, the more – then I went around town. I started going to different places, different, like, meeting different people. And it kind of was like, wow, this community is just amazing. Yeah. And so it kind of went in a more serious direction. And then so I you're made, local to Doylestown. Absolutely. Yeah. My whole life. And you know what? I never realized how great the area is, the Bucks County and Doylestown especially. Like, I never realized how great the area is. You know what I mean? Mm. And um, kind of so, took off from there. So you started getting out into the world to, to make people kind of like have something else to think about besides, you know, the world coming to an end. Yes. And then through that, you kind of just started discovering – the, what Bucks County had to offer? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And yeah. I met a lot of great people. I mean, like, you know, Britt, you know, Britt around town. You yeah, know. you you have a huge. You're part of like a huge posse of people. Yes, we actually all support each other too, which is just phenomenal. That's part of the great community. Mm. And like um, Bucks County Mama, another one. I like collabed with her, and we created the Heroes of Doylestown. Yeah, what's the Heroes of Doylestown? It's all the people I hang out with now. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want them to all wear costumes, but they won't do it. <laughs> you guys yeah. like the Avengers? Yes, yeah, <laughs> actually, that's my second project, so, huh. And, 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 like, um, we'll talk about that later. But, no, like, they're, like, just people that are going out and talking about the community, putting the positive word out, and, like, well, look, we have this business. We have this business. We have that. These people are great. Look at the energy. There's so much to offer here. And you know what? I salute them for that. And we talked we talked about that with Brittany um a lot. Um just just the like I I kind of, you know, admired her for what she I I think she's aware of it, but like busy, being a small business owner myself, I can only imagine what she did for some of those businesses she promoted because nobody like throughout the whole beginning part of the coronavirus, I, I would say like out on like my Instagram stories or different things or like the people in our office, I'm like when Corona starts slowing down, the places that do decide to open need to plaster their open sign as big as the people can see it. Cause people aren't going to know who's open, who's not open, what's good, what's not good, like what survived. Because I think a lot of businesses, you know, needed to stay open for financial reasons. Some people like that's all they had. So they stayed open for, you know, psychological reasons or that was just like the morale. And then some places chose to stay closed because they weren't ready to open. So I think people like Brittany and yourself and like Bucks County mama really did a great job being like, this spot's open. This is, this place has a good vibe. Masks, no mask. We don't care. Like come out on Friday. We, we got, we got <laughs> thing going on. Yeah. And, um, I was ready for the world to open so bad. So it was like when we did, I think my wife found Bucks County Mama and then Brit around town. And it was just, it was nice to kind of, you know, know what was going on. And then also, like, aside from Corona, like, I've been, you know, a member of this Bucks County community for a while. And you don't, like, there's so many places outside of the places that we go to all the time yeah. that it's really great to kind of see be like, oh, the, you know, the the posse's at that place, it must be good, mm -hmm. especially if you guys are talking about it. Oh, exactly. That's what it's about, man. Like, So I'm sure that, like, it, I'm sure there's tons of, like, restaurant or sandwich shops or different places that are, like, thank God for that group of people, like, just because they're not, you guys aren't making any money from promoting it. It's all out of, like, your, you know. Our love. Your willingness to do it. Yeah. yeah. And I, I appreciate you saying that. And I don't know, like, I, I literally don't do this for myself. I do it for everybody else kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like, I'll put myself out there to bring attention to something. But it's not about me in the end of the day. Yeah. It's not about me. It's about getting, the, like, their name out here. Like, like Evolution Candy. I got to give them a shout-out. I love that. They're, like, the happiest couple you'll ever meet. 
Where's Evolution Candy? Right across from Maker, right across from the County Theater, basically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So they're they're just awesome. And then Makers Off Main, I got to give them one too. Like they made these shirts for me. Like we're working together. That's the place that's um, in that shopping center with Starbucks, or where's Makers Off Main? Right, right diagonal of Evolution Candy. So it's oh, okay, so it's yeah. on that strip yes. near where the yes. County Theater is and everything. And I've met a lot of great people doing this, and we've got a great community, and that's what it's about for me. It's yeah, not, it's not about me. Like, yeah, I like going out dressed up. Like, hey, this is me. Mm. But no, just getting people to smile and be like, yeah, this is awesome. Like, oh, wow, look at this place. I didn't know it was there. Or not like discovering like, wow, I didn't know they were there mm. kind of thing. It's it's about awareness kind of and about the community, really. I think yeah. that's how we all kind of feel. I can't speak for the rest of the people in the, the little entourage, we'll call it a group. Yeah. yeah. But I, I kind of, that's how I feel about it. Nice. I don't know if I'm explaining it well, and I'm probably not. But cool. I think I think the world understands. Yeah. Do we need to adjust his microphone? Can you hear that well? Uh, yeah, just move it up a little bit. All right, I'll do it. Uh, wait. I got you. Oh, oh, hey, look, customer service right here. <laughs> there we. Is that better? Yeah, that's perfect. Well, hey guys. Before did it sound like Charlie Brown's mom? <laughs> 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 yeah. I might have to put subtitles. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> that's all right. That, no, that's funny, actually. Everything's fine. Yeah. So you know, sometimes, sometimes I can't tell with the audio because my ears aren't the greatest. So yeah, I was like, Gilmar, we good? <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, when we were talking to Brittany, I, I mentioned I was like, we got to get the Doylestown Ninja on. And then we were talking about how you know how your positive impact in the community, but like when you came in. You were talking about how, like, people are, like, either haters or, like, unsure of it. Like, do you think it's a mixture of the two? Or, like, do you actually have haters for, like, you being a positive force? Because that doesn't make sense to me. I don't think they hate. I do have, like, it's more way positive. Like, re- like oh, I love what you're doing kind of thing. It's a yeah. more of that. I'd say about 90%. But there's that 10% of negativity, which is totally against my positive energy. And it's not like they don't like what I'm doing. They don't like how I'm dressing or looking. So it's like kind of like it's kind of like discriminate. Like it's kind of they're just like yeah. they're like, like oh, oh, look at that dude just weird. doing his own thing. Yeah, no, they're like they're talking, making like comments about it and whatnot. I'm kind of used to it by now, especially with what I do. Yeah, and I am a little. I, dude, I'm a lot. I get it. <laughs> like I'm outrageous. I, I I'm me. I've been like this since my childhood. God bless my parents. <laughs> but like I've always like felt like a calling to be. When you mean you were always like this, like, were you born Extra. with a samurai sword? I, I would, I'd like to believe that, but probably not. Okay. That would be a horrible. <laughs> You're mother. We're not going to talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, that'd be a horrible birth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. Um, that'd be, like, that'd be a, a hilarious start to, like, a, a weird Doylestown comedy movie. Born sir, sword first. Just sword first. <laughs> Your mom's just like, ah! Oh God! It's a, it's a sword. Yeah. <laughs> I see the head. No, it's a sword. No, why is it so shiny? <laughs> <laughs> no, so it's kind of uh, like I, I have had a lot of um, yeah, I've had a lot of people and like they they they'll message me or make like comments on my posts and stuff. Mm. And like the the thing is, someone's out there trying to do something positive. Like I understand you don't like it. You don't have to. I'm fine with that. I accept it. I accept everybody for who they are. And what they believe in, unfortunately. And then, but when they, they put it out there, like on my post for everybody else to see that's actually enjoying what I'm doing. And like, you know, I'm trying to do something beyond myself. And they kind of try to tear you down. I'm not okay with that. Yeah. Like I'm not. That's kind of like a form of bullying in a sense. We just delete those comments. That's what I did. I delete them. And I, you know, I understand people don't, like, just contact me in a message. Yeah. Don't put it on my post. What's your problem, bro? Why are you? Hey, bro. S- no, it's B R U H, bro. Yeah, that's bruh. like the thing. Hey, bro, what the heck's this about? Like they don't yeah. use those words, but I'm, you know, I'm behaving. I think it's probably people that are just secretly miserable, and they don't, they have no awareness, or they're just, you know, angry at the world. So they just, yeah, you're the one that's out in front, so you just catch the heat. That's so what I was going to bring up what, next. Is what it is. I feel like there's something they're not happy with in their life, and. I mean, they wish they, I don't know. I'm not saying they wish, but maybe they want to have the confidence to go out and do something like I'm doing. Does that make more sense? Yeah. I think they probably don't realize that's what they're upset about. Mm-hmm. I think that's what they, they don't. They don't. 
like that. Like, damn, yeah. look at that idiot. And you're just like, you're everything they want to be. It, it's well, like you want to be able to like let loose, let your hair down, relax, have a good time. They're the people that don't dance at parties. And I always dance. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, oh, man, I love dancing. I should have talked to yeah. that girl or I should have danced. They're just like the should of people. Yeah, they're like, I wish I could do that, but I can't. And, it, and it's the only person holding them back is themselves. Yeah. So you got to, like, you got to fight against your fears and your insecurities. That's how you grow as a human being, and that's what martial arts has taught me. Mm. Like, I was insecure. I, mean, I still have some insecurities. I'm not going to lie. I think that's just natural. It is. We're human beings. Yeah. Like, um, in the end of the day, you, whatever we're wearing, whatever, whatever color our skin is, whatever. We're all people. We're all in this life together. So it's kind of like... Just, like, I get you don't like me, or for whatever reason, to just do it, like, respect. Just go over there and do yeah, it. Yeah, just be Shoot. respectfully or something. Yeah. yeah, just be respectful about it, because, like, that's the three things I push, is respect, positivity, and community. Mm. And, like, I, I, it bother, It does bother me, I'm not going to lie. I mean, we don't look, our, like, our business has a pretty solid YouTube following, and the comments that get left on some of those videos are just, we stopped looking at them completely. So if you're watching this and you're wondering why we haven't com you know, responded to your dumb comments <laughs> about my hat or Facts. anything, it's just kind of like in the beginning <laughs> when the YouTube started blowing up, we were like, oh, man, like respond to these comments. Be like, thanks for your feedback. Thanks for this. And now it got to a point where it's just like Gilmar and I don't even look at them because you just leave it and you're like, you leave like hating yourself for no reason. And then you got to dig yourself out of this emotional hole. I'm actually at that point too. Though. Yeah. So I, at first, I'm talking about it at first. It bothered me a lot. Some people can like, um, I know a few people that can kind of like absorb that and just like, they very quickly are like, dude, what's that guy about? Like he's probably in his mom's basement being angry or things like that. <laughs> I just, I don't have that. No, like, I don't have that games. skill <laughs> yet or thick skin yet. I just like, I take everything yeah. personally. So I'm just kind of like, well, mm. cause that's because you care, man. Yeah. Like, um, it bothers me, too, because you're trying to do something great, right? You're trying to do something beyond yourself to put out this word into the community. You're highlighting a lot of great people. I've watched you. Like, I've listened to your shows ever since we connected. And, yeah, I'm, I'm very impressed with what you do. And you're kind of trying to do the same thing I'm trying to do. I don't think I realized that. Until you like gotta a few minutes it, ago, yeah. you got to realize it. Same. You <laughs> are few, when he was like, "Oh, sh I'm like, oh shit, we're doing that." Yeah, because yeah, our our show came. Our show was very selfish. It had yeah. so very selfish reasons to start. It was I wanted to like networking and things like that just weren't working for us anymore, and like I truthfully enjoy sitting down and having a good conversation with somebody, and the podcast seemed like a logical way to convince people complete strangers a lot of the time to come in and you know f metaphorically break bread and like get to know and like yeah. there's been tons of people that have left this show that we didn't know before they walked in that are really good friends of ours now like nick What's and about? steve service is an example like kevin that solar guy we're pretty good friends now um a little bit before the show but there, there's a handful of people that you know, came on the show, w sat down with us. We had great conversation, and now they're, like, friends of ours. And um, I don't – it's typically harder for me to make friends for whatever reason. Uh, probably, like, just me being me or, or whatever the world is. Or just, like, I – you know, there's a lot of different people out there, and it's hard to find, like, your people. Yeah. So I was like, well, if we do the show and we make it good and we make it worth listening to, we'll make a bunch of people, and then we'll have more friends. And then people can benefit from, like, a couple good conversations here and there. Well, you're going to meet the right people. Yeah. You're going to meet the people you want to be friends with kind of thing. Yeah. I, it took me well yeah. into my 20s, like, late 20s to realize it was okay to, like, look at certain people or, or be like, you're not for me. Right. Whereas before that, I would kind of, like, you know, don't you knock over the grenade. concussion grenade. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're all going to be late. That'd be good footage, though. You know? like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All the windows funny. would be blown out oh, in here. Yeah, yeah. I was like, we oh, wow. need new cameras. Yeah, yeah. yeah no. I, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Like, It'd be an expensive to... grenade. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I yeah. paid for it because I did it. We've yeah. also got, like, this detonator here, so you don't want to <laughs> let that click. <laughs> like you just did. Yeah. <laughs> it's not connecting. We're okay. Yeah, so when you when you were talking earlier, it was kind of funny because, I mean, I guess this weird trend's been happening that we weren't really aware of that for our show, like, we've been having a lot of local community people on. 
And when we set out to do the show, we never thought it was going to be like a Bucks County show or Doylestown show. Mm -hmm. We just, as we gained a following, there was, you know, a handful of people that we were like, we want to bring them on the show to have the conversation as well as like give them a little bit more exposure, you know, like what little we can or, you know, show people. Because a lot of like what Instagram and TikTok is just very short little bites. Yeah. That like people will watch the show and be like, wow, the Doylestown Ninja, like next time they see you, instead of being like a dick about it. Even if they're thinking it to themselves, they'll be like, you know, I, I heard the show or I saw this from him. He's actually a really cool guy. So, like, that's kind of, like, just happened organically for well, us. No, that, yeah. I mean, you guys are doing something great, too. I mean, don't, don't, yeah, I, I absolutely believe you're trying to put the message out. I saw what it's about. And you're trying, yeah, you are Bucks County. That's how it starts. Yeah. That's how it starts, I guess starts, we man. tried like, to fight it, but we're Bucks County show. I'm Doylestown. I'm, it's fine. I'm actually Branch. I do have to explore the rest of the county more. Uh, so, yeah, actually on Sunday I'm going to Souderton for, like, that's beyond, but whatever. It's part of it. And, like, uh, for, like, somebody to do, like, uh, what's that called, henna? A henna tattoo? Yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm into the, like, how-tos right now because I, like, want to showcase, like, the talent in the town. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. There's a lot of cool stuff in this town. But anyway, whatever you were saying, we'll go back to that. <laughs> no. What kind of henna tattoo are you going to get? Uh, I want a dragon. Yeah, I was going to be like, it's better be a dragon. Gotta I want to be, be a, dragon. a dragon going down my arm, like the front arm. Yeah. yeah. Would you ever Would you ever get like a real tattoo? I've been thinking about it. Um, we'll just start with the henna, see how the, the dragon, one, test drive the dragon. The only one that's been burned into my head, you're going to laugh, is Captain America shield on my shoulder. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know. That could be kind of cool. Yeah, like the broken one, like he's been through battle kind of thing. Yeah. I think that would be cool. I've been thinking about that for a while. Are you Are you DC or Marvel? I like them all, man. Uh, yeah. I'm more, if I, you go with my favorite characters, more Marvel. Okay. More Marvel, yeah. Captain, Who's your favorite character? Captain America is my favorite. Captain America? Yes, sir. Yeah. As I would have I I sure. taken you for a Batman guy, but. He's my favorite DC. Yeah. Mm. I'm a Batman He's my guy. favorite DC. So, yeah, no, he's like a vigil Annie. But Captain America, I just like what he he just does what's right. Like Yeah, Tim, can you sign an autograph today? <laughs> Are you Captain America? <laughs> That's Captain America, bro. Yeah. Funny story. I got a funny story about that. Anyway. Yeah, go ahead. Hit it. So I started a second Instagram. I went out and bought a legit costume, and I am now the local Captain America as well. Oh, man. Whoa. But you should have not told anybody oh, that. Man. And then just be like, shh, shh, shh. They all pretty he was much, just kidding. They all pretty much figured it out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So That's awesome, though. Yeah, I have a real shield. <laughs> it's like a real is cost. it heavy? Oh yeah. Does it stop bullets? I, it's, I don't know. We what, can test what's it. Your, do you have an Instagram for it already? Local Captain America. I just started it about a week and something ago, and it's like at 150 something followers. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, that that's is a me. legit that's shield. Me, yeah. <laughs> that is Not that. That's the prototype. So like the real uh, I wanna, me. I want to look through the whole. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. If you, go up, if you go up, you'll see it. There, there I am walking around town. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Slicey, can you see it? There's me. Like, yeah. Oh, my that God. That looks sick. Who takes all your videos? Uh, my followers. Yeah, you just get people to hang out with you? Yeah, and then she wanted to do slow motion, me jumping over her. Cr- I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So, yeah, I've started that, and it's going really well. People just like, her Captain, I didn't have my leather chaps on my feet, so don't judge me in this one. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. No judgment. I, I only find this. I love my shield. I think this is just, it's just, I don't know. I kind of, re- I just, I guess I just kind of respect you for just doing you. That's what I'm saying. In a world where, like, there's there's so many people that think they're doing them, but they're really still so worried about, like, how they'll be perceived. So they're, like, just tailoring their, they're tailoring their personalities to kind of just please people. And I, like... I don't really care. You can do that. But I think that there's, you know, there's a lot of ramifications to that psychologically, like yeah, just man. worrying about other people. I deal with it. I mean, I I think that, you know, the people that like your quote unquote haters, what a lot of them are probably completely unaware of their just mentality. And, um, you know, through therapy and work for myself like I kind of just started to notice a lot more people just like I'm like they don't even realize how miserable they are they're just living and it's just kind of like I deal with my own problems so it's kind of like you just look at the people and you're just like wow like 
you know, there's nothing you can do for them, but you kind of just like, wow, like that sucks. So like when they hate on you, you kind of just have to realize, I guess, like, or at least when I deal with them, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, that hurt my feelings, but like, who are you? Who are you? It's a them problem. It's not a us problem. It's always a them problem. It's a them problem. But I still struggle. I still struggle very much with like when people, even though I know it's a them problem, I still struggle with like the, uh, you're as, still shooting at me. No, as do I. Like, uh, yeah. I think we all do. I think that's a normal reaction, to be honest with you. For sure. And, like, it's kind of thing, like, yeah, some people are like, oh, who cares? Yeah, you know, they didn't say it about you type thing. So, I care. Of course I care. Yeah. But then at, at the end of the day, it's like, then you think about it, you go home, and you're like, let it, like, reflect a little bit in your head. You're like, did I do that? You're like, Am you're I like no, they're being in, like, I do respect people very much. It's like mm. my whole thing. I respect them for what they believe in, what they want to wear. If they want to w- walk around town with a barrel and a like, you know, with their arms sticking out the side with no feet, <laughs> with their feet yeah. at the bottom, go for it, man. That's like the world. That's would all be, you. I wonder how great the world could be if people were themselves. It'd be amazing. That's why, like, you see, like, what are the people that dress up like animals and they like associate furries? Yeah, furries. furries. I was gonna say furries. Like yeah. the furry community, like. I'm not a furry. If I were, I'd probably be a hedgehog or something. (laughs) Something dope. But, like, people hate on that community. You see it on, like, documentaries and things like that, and people being like, this is a problem. But, like, I'm like, is it? (laughs) Are they hurting hurting anybody? Like, if somebody associates a tiger, like, we had an episode on Tony the Office Tiger. Like, Tony the Office Tiger, if a a dude in your office dissociates as a tiger – it's completely fine until he hops up on the conference room table and bites somebody. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like, that would be funny. However, it would be f- it would be hilarious <laughs> if that was like a it was like local Doylestown office attacked by human tiger, <laughs> Tony the tiger. <laughs> he probably end up getting sued by Kellogg's. Oh, sure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're great. We'll call him Anthony. Defamation, right there. Anthony the tiger. <laughs> I was gonna say Chad. Chad, dude, we could, we could go with Chad. Chad, Chad seems Chad. right, but I kind of like I always look at that stuff. And like in the past, I was definitely like, dude, that guy's a furry. What's wrong with that guy? But even like you have that thought, the fact that you're like, what's wrong with that guy? That's a you problem. Yeah. So I like, I heard a quote, um, oh, probably a couple of weeks ago now, probably like two months ago, where it was like the way you treat other people is how you think, like, what you subconsciously think about yourself. So if you're going around just hating every person you see. You hate yourself. You hate yourself. Mm -hmm. And I literally, like, now I, like, I'm hyper vigilant to, like, if I joke, I can be a little bit of a comedian sometimes, like, make poke fun or anything like that. Like, it's whatever. But if I catch myself, like, driving and I'll be sitting in my car in traffic and I look over and I see somebody and I think a negative thought, I instantly try and catch myself and be like, dude, what's that guy do to me? Like, what, what did he do to me? Or, like, he, he's not affecting me. Or, like, wh- he maybe this is going on. And I am instantly try and correct it yeah. with, like, the long-term goal of just, like, completely fixing the way I I, com- I look at other people. Right. Because I don't want to, like, be the guy that's just, like, secretly angry all the time, <laughs> just hating everyone because I hate myself. Well, the angry people aren't secret about it. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to lie. I, 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 like, yeah, they aren't. And I don't, I don't know, man. Like, it's either it, – like, it all starts up here, in my opinion. It all starts in your mind, and it works its way down. Mm. So if you feel great up here, you're going to feel great physically as well. Yeah, very much. Everybody, you know, everybody has that goal to feel good, I think. Yeah. Um, You know, and I think, you know, people need to work it, work it out in their own time. Yeah, um, exactly. As I did, and, you know. Gilmar, he can be a complete jerk sometimes. Dude, I'm such a jerk. Dude, such a jerk. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's like he's legit. honestly the the kindest person I know. I, he has a kind face. I can judge. Hell, oh, really? oh, dude, he means I'm you're, not judging. I can sense the vibe. Thanks. I can sense you're beautiful. <laughs> oh shit, James oh, Blunt. Shit, I, yeah. I can sing if you want. Uh, I can do a lot. I'm very versatile. Yeah, you're very, yeah, you're very yeah. yeah. He's like he, he's like a Swiss Army knife or a Leatherman. <laughs> so Bring it to a, the 22nd. I don't have a corkscrew though. Yeah, <laughs> who needs that? Dude, that's <laughs> awesome! Oh yeah, we just smash bottles open. We don't. We don't. You should use my maybe. mind, like Jedi mind force. Like, if you came in and did some stuff like that, I'd probably cancel the episode and just find stuff for you to do with your mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, "Can we road trip? Just record that." <laughs> yeah, for yeah. Hours. that would be fun. That'd be really fun. So I heard, like, going back a few, a little bit, like rewind sounds into uh, the best. Yeah. We got. Um, you said a word that 
kind of just made me think. You said kata yes. when you were talking about Applebee's, which like brings me to the question: is like what style of martial arts does the ninja, the, does the Doyle Town um, ninja practice? That's hard to answer nowadays, but originally, okay, I'll tell you a story. It's fine. It actually started as kung fu, which is Chinese martial arts. Which okay, is tai chi and all the. I can still just like it. moving the body yeah, like, around. Yeah, yes, like very that. actually very Wing Chun. I never got into that. Oh, okay, actually. A little bit when my when I have one video I was doing the fast strikes I, I th- that was on my own though I figured that out. On my I've own. only had one Wing so, Chun experience, yeah. and it was an artist we hired to paint like custom murals on this restaurant we were building, and he was telling me about how Wing Chun's better than Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Little did he know I was ready to shoot a double leg on him and <laughs> slam his head into the ground. So I How'd like that go. I literally he's a big guy. He's a little bit older, but he was huge compared to me. Mm. And I literally I was like, oh, so like if I did this and kind of like shot in on him, but I wasn't compl- I wasn't going to complete it. He like he literally was like, oh, my God, like locked up. And I was like, get your wing chung out of here. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm going to tell you, I haven't messed with like jujitsu much. I'm like I'm a striker. Yeah. So I'm going to say like, no, I, I, I really I, got, I did it a little bit, but I. It, not enough. So it started as Kung Fu. So it went to Kung Fu, and then it went into Kenpo. Kenpo. Which is your base. Okay. Your strong base. That's karate. That's, that's yeah. your legit karate. What's the difference between Kenpo and, like, Shotokan karate? I, you have no idea? No. Neither I, do I, I. I'm not going to lie to you. Do we? Can we look that up? Yeah. Kenpo? Or we'll just say. I've never done Shotokan, so I can't tell you. I'm only talking about personal experience. Not to brag or anything, but I'm a second-degree black belt in Shotokan karate. Really? Yeah, it's what, some how do you spell that? Shotokan? Shoto. I know how to spell oh that. my god, you know how to spell you it. Actually, go back and said Shotokan versus Kempo. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you just sound that out? Do you speak that's Japanese? That's how. That's how. It, that's how you no, spell I, it. I've always been a good. I was going to tell him how to do it, but yeah, that was impressive. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know much about Kempo. It's very like you can't knock me over if you push me type thing. You have like a real good railroad base. Yes. Okay, Kempo is a soft system relying heavily on a centrifuge force and reciprocating motions. For instance, an elbow strike to the ribs will leave the practitioner's arm locked for another strike on the back swing. So it's like boom, and then I guess it's very yes. And then, um, and the Kempo man will try to land that strike as well. Uh, there's less of this in Shotokan, which is definitely true, which depends mostly on straight line blows delivered with the correct form and power of repeat training, which is also something I've learned. They literally, like, at least our um, sensei would literally, as kids, would just literally have us throw, like, the same kick for an hour straight and then be like, all right, cool, have a good night. And then we'd be like, I want to quit karate. (laughs) And my mom would be like, you can't quit. And then next thing you know, I didn't quit. No, every good. week, every week it was, we're going to quit tonight. It my mom would be like, no. It's yeah. a good thing you didn't quit because it's the best thing I ever did. It was honestly so my mom could go to the gym and us to be occupied as little kids. It was like babysitting, but <laughs> taught us to fight. And then, like, you weren't shit as a kid growing up. If you were born in the 80s, karate was the it. It's mm-hmm. coming back now, big time. Is it? It's a Cobra Kai. That oh, show, because yes, the show Cobra, yeah, Kai, Cobra Kai, yeah. yeah. It's coming back big time, yeah. I got made fun of a lot for being into karate when I started getting into, like, mixed martial arts, boxing, and, like, ultimately jiu-jitsu. Mm-hmm. They'd be like, oh, you did karate? That's cool. And I'd be like, listen, wrestling is obviously I'm not throwing a roundhouse kick on the ground, but if you want to try the sidekick out or, like, something, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. like, I'm not going to throw, like, a leaping jump kick or something, but, like, no, no. I could blast your knee apart with a sidekick and we wouldn't be laughing about that. But I understand the hate. It's because they hate themselves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're back on that topic again. So you started with... It went to... Ken, so it went Tai Chi, and then... I don't know. I did my dappling in, like, the, you know, the the Kung Fu, like... Well, did you find striking. Tai Chi very, like, relaxing? Yeah, actually, it did. It looks incredibly relaxing. It was very relaxing. It was actually possibly one of the best defenses I've ever learned. So, yeah, it's, it's kind of insane. Um, Why do you think that? I, it just everything like all your body movements, the, like all the things they had you do, just kind of felt like it was natural. Like you, you were just kind of like ready for. Like, yes, because it looks when you watch. You're tai literally Chi, using their momentum against themselves. Okay. Yeah, kind of thing. I, I don't know if I'm. Ex- it's bit, dude. I was in my. Dude, I'm old now. That was like when I was 18. A ninja never ages. I don't. I'm eternal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tai Chi just looks like. 
It's oh, wow. very relaxing, yeah. This is a very relaxing video. Was that video. In my headphones it or has, was that the I TV? I that too. I was like, damn, that's loud. It's a pretty, it has a, pr- it's a lot of pretty flowers, but where's the Tai Chi? <laughs> yeah, Tai Chi just kind of looks like. It's like not for everybody. Karate yoga. Yes. That's kind of what it looks like. That's when what it, when well, you that's watch it, you're just like, I wish I knew how yeah, to do that because. I mean, she's a little extra about it, but. <laughs> that's fine. You want to leave a negative comment? We can do that. I'm only kidding. I would never. You're a little extra about it. <laughs> You're extra. I think it's less the, less moon and more breathing. I think it was the music. I don't know. That's fine. So, do you still practice other I, than like being out in the streets? Um. Yeah, I do. I'm currently at East West Karate in Warminster. Okay. Yes. And so. What? And that's just karate, or what else? Do it's they? It's all mixed now. We got yeah. like Muay Thai elements, Krav Magras in it. Um, they do offer jujitsu on the side. Uh, there's so much, dude. I really, yeah, jujitsu. Everything's like mixed now. Is it's, yeah. Um, it's not an injury prone sport, but it definitely beats you up. Yeah, yeah. So, no, I know. I watch. I've seen people do, it and I just, I've never really gotten because I'm such a strong striker kind of thing. Yeah. yeah, you don't let it get to the ground. Yeah, no, no. I'm just gonna end it. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go with that brutal. <laughs> I'm just gonna end it. Finish him. Get over here. <laughs> um, so how long have you been training there? Um, overall, at East West, probably cumulative, like, uh, about 15 years there and probably <sighs> about 20-something overall. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. Just decent. It's been a have long you ever ha- I started late, though. Yeah. So. It's relative. Yeah. How Have you ever found someone, like, what happens to, like, at least, I, I know a few UFC fighters and MMA fighters and they always get a lot of people that, like, at least from my experience, they get a lot of people that are, like, that try to kind of fight them when they're out and about. There'll be, like, a bar or something like I that. And they'll be like, yeah. be like, yo, does in, they'll find, like, random challengers. And it'll be like, look, dude, like, I'm a bantamweight. You're heavyweight. Like, even if I am an expert fighter, like, you're so much bigger. Like, there's levels to this. Do you ever get any of that kind of, like, energy or attention yeah. when you're on about where people are like, oh, yeah, you do karate? No, they hear the word ninja. Yeah. And then they expect, the, oh, let me challenge a ninja. They get the, you know, liquid courage going on. Because mm. I'm out late, so I run into a lot of that. Um, I wouldn't say too much. There was two instances. I don't even remember the first one. But the second one, this guy kid was like, oh, here, hit me, hit me. I was like, I'm not hitting you. Yeah. Why am I going to do that? Like, what's the point? And then he kept throwing, like, these things. I kept dodging, and people started, like, laughing. <laughs> I was just like, are you done? And I, grabbed, I was like, all right, man. I, I had to leave eventually. Yeah. I was, it was getting annoying. But in, in all the years of me doing this, I've never started a fight, period. Well, I think when you learn yeah, fighting, or you learn I, I how to fight. too far away from this, I think. Yeah. I don't know. Gilmar will catch it. Is he too far away? What? It, am I good? Am I good? You hear me? Uh, Pull it up a little bit more. See what I, I'm saying? Yeah, I, I mean, I do have your go. level adjusted. To I have to go like this. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to. You no, want that's to. not my style. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, once you know the kind of like, it's it's kind of the same thing for like soldiers, I guess. Like once you've seen the repercussions of war or you know what that's like, you're not like actively seeking out violence unless no. you're a psychopath. Yeah, well, I mean, but that, that's a you problem again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm sure. That's I'm a sure. Problem. I'm sure there's people that are like, yeah, let's get some, let's let's sack bodies today. Like one of my senseis told me, if you know it, you don't talk about it. If you don't know it, you talk about it. Kind of thing. Like, mm. yeah, if we, you know, how to fight. I'm not going around trying to pick fights with people. Why would I? Why would I talk? If someone asked me a question like you did, did you have you trained? Of course, I'm going to answer it. Yeah, you know, but it's not like we're going around like, hey, man, I'm flexing right now. Hey, you know. It's like a bully thing. I'm not into that. Yeah. It's kind of, it's funny. I don't know. Society, we're getting there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, yeah. yeah. So people, I find yeah. it, I find it, maybe I'm just getting old, but I find um, it's like weirder and weirder to be around people. Like yeah. when you're out and about, it just kind of like, I don't know if it's a me problem or if maybe like the world is changing and I'm just like not changing with it. But sometimes I'm out and I'm just like, you see people, like, you'll see couples, for instance. Like, we'll go out, like, my wife and I will go out to eat a lot. And you'll see, like, couples out to dinner that, like, literally will be, like, in their phones the entire dinner. Mm. And they you just kind of, like. <laughs> I see that all the time. Well, <laughs> like, you have a good relationship, so that doesn't happen to you either. But, like, yeah. you guys probably see it. Where you you're guys just are like, lucky. Dude, we see it you're all like, the time. You're hmm. like, hmm. Like, I've seen it. 
And I've seen it where like they're too busy talking to everybody else in the bar or restaurant. Yeah. yeah, I've seen that too. Yeah, it's like you went out together for a reason, spend time together, kind of yeah. thing. I don't. I'm not. I'm totally single. Yeah, he's finish. totally single, ladies. Totally single. Oh. Get, no, let's not, get some ninja. I'm not going for that. I'm not looking for it either. But yeah, I'm a lot. It'll, of com- it'll come to you. Oh, oh. Yeah. oh. <laughs> oh we're doing that. Hit him up. <laughs> oh, jeez. No, but I'm. Yeah, uh, I'm. Uh. I want full credit. If a lady hits him up on this show, from this show, I I want I want to. I don't know. You want a what? I want credit. Like want a free you, T-shirt. If you got yeah, if you got married <laughs> to a girl because of this show, I would definitely want to orate your wedding. <laughs> yeah. I would get like an honorary priestship or whatever they do. Priestship. Priestship. Is yeah, that whatever. a word? I don't know. It, I is made it, it is now, dude. It I is just now, spoke it into yeah. existence. Yeah. What is it called? A minister, ordained minister. Ordained minister. Ordained minister. Ordained I'd become the uh, n- the Doyle Son Ninjas ordained minister. You be you be invited to the wedding at least. Yeah. yeah there you the go. very least. You could be the minister too. There you go. You guys take each other. You know, we'll make it simple. Just like do like, like yes. some moon movement like this, yes. lady. Yeah, like, this lady's like uh, inhale, <gasps> breathe, and wax now on, kiss, wax off. Oh, yeah, she's killing it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> my grandma right here. Yeah, somebody, somebody, grandma probably <laughs> beat up the other grandmas. <laughs> I, yeah, there was another. Yeah, never mind. I'm not commenting on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just say abort and you get out of there real quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ninja vanish. Ninja fan pop smoke. I gotta have one of my. <laughs> do you have you done that? No. I've do you look- want to do that? Oh, of course I do. What's st- what's stopping you? I think we should Nothing. film Nothing. Uh, I just keep forgetting about doing it. Just smoke grenade, just blow so, it yeah. up. That'd be so fun. Dude, we got Ninja Stars. I know. Yeah, you. we do have Ninja Stars. I saw that they're actually legit, too. Oh, all right. We thought they were metal when we ordered them. It's all right. And then in I hindsight for how cheap they were, we can definitely see that they're not. Like, I can just be like, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> right in the eye. <laughs> no, they're actually decent. It's fine. I'll hold this. Like I saw that I saw that on the thing, and I was like, "Man, they are like sharp." Well, yeah, we bought them for you just in case things got lit. We yeah, just yeah. we have to just defend ourselves. <laughs> Everybody was gonna take a star. This cut. This is like uh, this chair is just too comfortable. <laughs> yeah. Is it? You usually get a lot of shit for that chair. A lot of people uh, hate the chair. I don't like the pillow. I don't know. The pillows bother me. Okay, that's, the, that's the goal amazing. is to get nicer chairs, but we need a sponsorship for that <laughs> because the only sponsor. Is our own company right now. Yeah, and, and uh, Solar Trinity. And Solar Trinity. <laughs> yeah, so shout out, shout out to the solar shout company. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buy your solar panels from Solar Trinity. Yeah, there you go. And we can get nicer chairs. There you go. <laughs> so if you leave a comment about how our chairs suck, buy solar panels buy solar and do panels. something about it. Yeah. Make a difference in someone's life. Exactly. My life. We'll get really cool chairs. Yeah. You can make it happen. Exactly. <laughs> we'll get Gilmore a nicer chair, too. I'm much I mean, his that. is pretty good. Your, your chair is pretty good. All right. All right yeah. right now. Yeah. I mean, his feet are off the ground, though. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I was sticking my feet over here. <laughs> yeah. They were a little high a little for kid. a minute. That's <laughs> okay, because he has, he has to customize his chair height to what sneakers he's wearing. <laughs> <laughs> whether, he's wearing Burn. Yeah. whether he's wearing heels or not. <laughs> I've, only seen these, I've only seen these sneakers. This is the second time I've ever seen these sneakers, and I've known Gilmore my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the third time I've ever worn them. So <laughs> <Yeah. yeah. laughs> you know, I'm privileged. Yeah, you got some nice ones over there. Yeah, they match my color outfit. coordinating. Thanks. Is yeah. this? Are these pants and belt? Are these your karate pants and belt for yes. real, or this part of your costume? No, it's um, I I like the color. I used to have a as you saw back. I used to have a red and black hairstyle. Okay. Now it's blonde and black. So I like to switch that up. That's for like yeah, just expressing yourself, being yourself, kind of thing. Nice. Are you a full time ninja, or do you have another profession? I can't answer that question. All right. That is, a, he's an exotic dancer. I, I mean, knew it. I knew it. I knew it <laughs> you can book him <laughs> on. That's why he's single. <laughs> no. Because he's married to the night. It's because I dress up all the time, probably. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm sure there's another lady ninja out there that's I just like so. going to see this show and be like, I need to move to Bucks County. A Konnichiwa. That's what they're called. A Konnichiwa. Mm. That's what a female ninja is called? Yes. A Konnichiwa? Yes. That would be really cool. Yeah. If oh, it would that's <laughs> what Konnichiwa means? Yep. I thought Kanichiwa was hello in no, Japanese. It's uh-huh. Arigato or something like yeah, that. I, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. I don't know. I thought Kanichiwa, Kanichiwa was something else. Let's look it up, dude. Let's see. I don't know, dude. I don't know shit about shit, dude. So you keep your ninja identity and your personal identity completely separate, though? Well, a lot of people know it now. My eyes kind of give it away. My hair definitely gives it away. Does anybody ever see you and they're like, are you the ninja? And yes. you're like, nope. 
Yes. No, I never say no. I can't lie. Oh, uh, okay. So it's against I'm, the ninja code. It, yeah, it is. Honesty, integrity. <laughs> there, I could yeah. go through the whole karate kind of right Honesty, now. integrity, karate. honor, the domino spirit. spirit. <laughs> what can you do? You remember the the command, the things we used to start karate class with? Oh, honor. We end it with it. Discipline. Self control. Self control. Yeah. Self control. Respect. Respect is definitely one of yes, them. Yes, yeah. And, and Domino Spirit was always the last thing. And what's the goal? Black belt excellence. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, ours was not that cool. I'm pretty sure the dude who was our sensei is possibly in federal prison for racketeering. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And that was yeah. that was like a 20% joke, 80% true. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say 85. Hey, and the only thing that was a joke about that was it might not be racketeering. It's probably something else. Mm. <laughs> He's Jeez. gangster. He was gangster. Yeah, and I didn't know it until I was like an adult. Oh, I was like, I'm not even gonna shout his name out here because I'm not, I'm not gonna deal with that smoke. Yeah, Would that. not do that. <laughs> rolls, that. Rolls with a different group of people. He didn't follow the core values, man. Yeah, he he set his own core values. <laughs> he didn't practice what he preached. Yeah, exactly. He didn't get he didn't money. Uh, you know the other yeah, part. Yeah, you know the other part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like That's such it. a slacker now, sitting up. Konnichiwa. <laughs> just uh, I'll adjust it for you. And yeah, it means good afternoon. Oh, look at Japanese. that. Service hey, again. Good afternoon. <laughs> oh, everybody, this is what Gilmore looks like. Kunoichi. I said Kunichiwa, didn't I? Yeah, I was right. I said Kuni no, Kunoichi is what I meant to say. Okay. Oh, God. It's fine, dude. I did that. Kunoichi? <laughs> is that bottom one? Kunoichi. Right. So, yeah, it's K-O-N-I. Then you go. Wait, this? No, no, no it's Kunoichi. Kunoichi. So it's probably K-O-N-I, Wichi. You got me distracted. <laughs> Blaming you. <laughs> Kono, like L, go O. L O, like O. Kono. L Kono. Weechi. Kuno. So it's Kuno. Konowitz. Kuno Weechi. That's Konowitz. <laughs> Paul Konowitz, defense attorney. Shout out. Japanese term for woman. Ah, okay. uh, there you yep, go. Female Uichi. ninja. See, I do know my stuff. I just said the wrong word. I got distracted. It's fine. Yeah, it's the light. It's That's the bright it. lights and the ninja stars that got him excited. And the dog. And, and the funny and the story. Dog. Yeah. And this, like, I have a sword in my hands. Yeah. So how did you choose the outfit? It was kind of just my karate outfit, to be honest with you. Yeah. So it was out of convenience. Yeah, and, like, the wraps, I just, because it's kind of ninja-y. I usually have a... I usually have armor on, but it's too freaking hot out today. It is transitioning into yeah. summer, and I think that would definitely drag on the ninja a little bit. Like, I put my sparring things. I have them all altered, so they fit my shins. I tuck my pants in, usually into my socks. Mm. So I, Sometimes I have, like, um, I have, like, shoulder armor on, too. Mm. So, yeah. And so you thrive in the fall. Yeah, when it's colder out, for sure. How are you going to pick and choose between – captain america and the ninja like do you, like do you do you have a preference for one or is it just like you wanted to switch it up it's just i've always wanted to have the captain suit i'm not yeah. gonna lie and like i couldn't believe it the first day i got it, i was like i gotta try this thing out yeah. and i went out in town and people were like captain america captain america. it was like insane that's very cool mm. it was insane it was just like pictures like all over the place so it was like wow and i was like that's pretty cool then i got the real shield and then it got even better mm -hmm. kind of thing mm. And I know there's no preference really. It depends what the situation is asking for. Like a lot of times, like Captain, I'll get like a request to show up, kind of thing. Ninja is kind of like just me being me and doing. So the ninja that. can show up wherever the ninja wants. It's not like Surprise somebody can call like upon the ninja. Right? No, they can. They how can does how does someone get the ninja to their enterprise? I'm just mentioning. Um, I have an email. It's on my account. It's okay. on. Um, just message me, and I'll show up. Yeah. That's simple. And, like, uh, I definitely will be there if I possibly can in, like, all my power. So I'm all about it, like, either one. And same with the captain. I'll do either, but I can't do both at the same time. <laughs> that would be interesting. <laughs> you should have. I half had a hybrid the one night. It was pretty funny. Yeah. Like, I walked out because somebody went to me for some business, you know, a business thing. And I, I was like, she's like, I kind of want to see your captain suit, but you can just be dressed down. So I wear the captain pants. I had ninja shoes on. And then I put this on, and uh, it was kind of funny. You're kind of like a captain villain. It was like a, it was like a Captain America dress down day. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone asked you for birthday shout outs or anything? Um, yeah, actually, pe well, you mean like like appearances at the birthdays and stuff like well, that. Well, not that, but just has anyone messaged you and said, "Hey, um, you know, my son really likes you. Can you send the video saying happy birthday?" Or I've gotten people to Something ask like me that. to do stuff, not 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 like that mm. per se, but no, usually, 
yeah, people are like, oh, my 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 younger brother would love you. Mm-hmm. Do you want to? Are you available for birthday? Yeah, absolutely, I'm available for birthday parties. So it's kind of like that. Because younger people, it's more like the younger people that love the captain. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're like, oh, Avengers. Yes. That's really cool. Yeah. Like, assemble. You know, I can do this all day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I this always is, say that to everybody. You. I always say it all day. Like, it's basically me. Like, both characters are still me as a person mm. kind of thing. It's just like, yeah, I play a little bit more into, like, the respectful thing with Captain. And just a little wild child a little bit sometimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, uh, it gets especially a, when your hair was red and black. Yeah, I get a little wild because I do love tearing up the dance floor, like at like chambers or something late at night, <laughs> and like all these like other people are sitting there like this on the stage. I'm like, man, this is a dancing stage. Get off! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I go up and claim the stage, but every you know, it's like a good vibe anyway. I don't put myself in the bad situations. I kind of feel like if I go somewhere, I can kind of feel the vibe out right away. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah, good. you can well, read the room. Just like you can read the ninja. room. Yeah. yeah, like some nights I'm like, all right, I walk in, I'm like, hey, and then they're like, Err. I'm like, all right, I'm out. Ninja vanish. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah. I gotta get those. That'd be cool. I want to be there for the first, the first pop one. smoke. Oh yeah, we'll set the cameras. They up. actually have. I, they probably have them somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> then like, can we look up pop like pop smoke things? <laughs> is this is that your bike in that one picture? Uh, no, I uh, my neighbor. You borrowed it. Yeah, no, but we kind of share it, kind of. I used to have that bike. It's a ZZR Kawasaki. Yes. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. a ninja. But we sh- we share it. Yeah, it's like I I would if I when I buy my own bike like him and I share it, so it wouldn't like I would buy yeah a crotch rocket. Bike. Yeah, I mean yeah. that bike is technically a ninja. Exactly. So you got to stick to it. No, uh, uh, him and I have actually been looking at it, like getting me a good deal on something. So. Yeah, I mean. I, right now, I just drive a Jeep Wrangler. I have a bike that I'm getting ready to sell. Mm, it's not it. I don't know. Is that a Kawasaki? No, it's a Yamaha. That's pretty FZ09. freaking close. It's like a crotch rocket, but set up like a dirt <laughs> you bike. You would pull it up. Okay. So you don't have to like lean over. It's like. All right, let me check. I'll check it out. It's got purple wheels. That's kind of cool. The f- exhaust is cut off and like way, well, like welded stainless off the cylinder, so you can blow like flames out. I'll definitely. T- <laughs> <laughs> now, you, now you're tempting me. Yeah, I'll send, into the I gotta side. get the tire tire set up and inspection and stuff. So <laughs> they're looking it up right now. <laughs> what do we got? I gotta tell you, whoever's watching this, <laughs> this is so much fun. This is so much fun. Did he being bring here. you something more ridiculous? <laughs> yeah. Is it something we can actually buy though? Like, like I just want to throw it on the ground and have the look smoke like come up. Oh he, my god! I'm looking at this shit. He comes over with this fucking shit. Like, oh my god! Smoke grenade slice. Oh, this shit's way cooler, by the way. Yeah, but can I just throw it on the ground and have go? Email me this. We're buying some stuff, bro. Oh, and when you do. Dude, you better bring him back. We'll do Ninja Van. Well, um, M11 multi bang, bro. Forty four dollars. It's out of stock. Though. But that's not. Is this bad. like? Is this civilian issue? Like, is this still legit? Slice. I think he said. Do you know anybody that's bought this stuff? Okay. Well, then looks like we got to buy all of it. <laughs> Dude, look at this <laughs> shit, dude. How it's much on you sale, dude. Eighteen hundred dollars. Oh my god, yeah, that's a freak. Oh my god, can a I grenade get, how launcher. Much, <laughs> like, how much trouble can I get in with that? This. Do you oh, think? I could imagine. <laughs> He's I, like, I'm good to go. Go to Peddler's Village with it and just walk. Yeah. <laughs> smooth <laughs> PD pickup. Oh, that's insane. Six shot shooting up smoke canisters. Smooth bore oh, flare do launcher. I was only kidding, everybody. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. It was a bad joke. <laughs> All our friends in the. In the hood right now are gonna be like, or checking out some s- fucking flare guns. Oh, some Batman shit. Yeah, that's 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 insane. I'm just thinking of you like know what I'm gonna do. Things you put in I'm the gonna take the Doylestown smoke. Ninja up on his offer, and I'm gonna be telling Doylestown Terminator and walk around with that. Oh, just man. blasting smoke grenades off. Oh, don't do that. I was only kidding. <laughs> You know, though, but, Foot like, when, when there's a hero, <laughs> there's always a villain. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. All you guys can fight each other. Oh, my God, dude. I, like, yeah. ricochet the things back at you. <laughs> I'm probably yeah. the villain. Let's be honest. Oh, jeez. Uh, there you go. I'll be the Joker or something. Found your calling. Yeah, if you I, might, I might be my. I, might I, have do, found my I, I do know the Bucks County Batman. Do you ever see him? Uh. Wait, there's a Bucks County Batman? You got to check it out. Does he drive around in a convertible? Because I've seen a dude on... Newtown bypass in a he, bat suit and a Corvette. He's legit. Like, oh, he's certified, like verified. Yeah. I mean, oh my god, he is verified. Oh, he's like ripped too. That's the bike I have. That one right yeah. there. Yeah. Which one? This one? The yeah. bat. The, the Batmobile. No, that's literally the bike I'm trying to sell you. 
<laughs> Dude, I'd buy exactly it. that. That looks bike. so cool. He doesn't look like he's confident on it. It might be how big his boots are. <laughs> <laughs> this is sick, yo. What the hell? You guys didn't know that? No, I Oh, my God. Bro, this dude is insane. Dude, is he on? Whoa, he's way ripped. I told you he's jacked, bro. Look at him. <laughs> you guys. Well, I shouldn't have even brought it up. Oh he was God. talking about superheroes. I was like, there's another one in the area. There you go. <laughs> oh, my God. You got a Captain America, a ninja, and a bro, Why does he look like somebody up. was whipping him? Yeah, dude, jeez. Maybe he's know. into that. He's fine, Bane, bro. Dude, we're not we're not gonna knock it. Everybody's got their thing. Yeah, man. Like, look at his armor though; it's insane. Yeah, it's, that it's costume like, is serious. It's like movie grade shit. It's just like we're look at him just walking with some Gatorades. <laughs> well, watch, watch what he does. Like, I love it. He just goes up and shakes their hands. <laughs> Where is this in Philly? I, I he's I think he's I near no Philly. Idea. I don't I don't know, know like, where that is. Like we follow each other, but I don't know his you know any of that. I just think he's funny. Dude, look like at those good. boots and his armor. His costumes are just that's wow. commitment right that's there. Commitment. That's commitment. That's serious commitment. I can't believe we're talking about this right now, but <laughs> that's awesome. Did you see that one dude? T- go back to that one where he hands out the Gatorade and go look at the comments. The one dude's the Gucci collector. <laughs> <laughs> I remember seeing this one in 2020 and how angry people were about it. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> I'm a useless guy. These people's comments, whatever. Yeah, whatever. What's, um, so what, like, what kind of events do you have coming up? Um, what do you want to shout out, I guess? There's a couple. Every time there's a road closure, either one or the other character will show up. Um, I'm At a road closure? To, yeah, like, you know, in Doylestown, they shut down the road, oh, so they do the yeah, outside yeah. dining. So I do that because, well, either one. It when's the f- when's the next one? <sighs> it's every weekend, apparently. Okay, they, so, that. like, in Doylestown, they're still closing the road off like they were in Corona? Yeah, yeah, that's what they're doing because it was so. Did they do that so people could dine outside and be a little bit safer? I'm not clue. sure. I, I would I would think so. It's really cool. It's very European of Doylestown to do that. I think it's a great idea. They actually installed like gates that close this like the roads off too. So it's yeah. pretty cool. I, I really think it's like a great they put thing. like hu- they put concrete barriers up. They parked some trucks in front of it so people yeah. couldn't like drunk drive into the crowd of people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it, I it know was it nice was to go because I think we went to um, I want to say we went to Mom's for dinner. Mom's is good, I and we showed like up there, and I was like, "What is this?" chaos of people out in the streets <laughs> and we really cool. we literally ate in the street at a nice table and i was like this is actually really really cool to kind of like if you have a dog that's not a service dog you can kind of like yeah bring him out bring him out oh it's a great vibe and then like what well, later on i know when it gets like more towards like late spring summer they have live music too mm. out there playing for you so oh, it's nice. it's really cool i think it's a great thing it's a great positive thing for the community to do and i i do commend the town for doing it it's kind of um, for all the taxes that are paid in towns, not just highlighting Doylestown. Yeah. Like you guys are highlighting these local businesses and trying to like bring energy to them. But it's really, really cool to see a local government. And I like I want to think maybe it came from Corona being like, hey, we need to help some of these restaurants out or we're going to lose a few of them. But it's really cool to see a local government and then a community bring people out to get them together. But it's really stimulating the local economy. I'm sure the local restaurants are ecstatic that people are coming out yeah. and, you know, getting out when at a time when people weren't going out. And now it's happening where it's like it's way easier to go out to eat when there's an abundance of tables to sit out. Yeah. Because you give the restaurants like some of those restaurants don't have a lot of tables inside. So when you shut down the street and you give them like double the tables they have. It incentivized people because, like, there's restaurants that I love to go to, but I won't go to because I'm like, oh, well, we're never going to get a table tonight because it's Friday night and it's now 7 o'clock, and by the time we get there, it's not going to be a thing. 7 o'clock is very busy. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, so it's great. I feel like it actually – I just think it was, like, a great idea, whoever came up with that. And, like, it's really not only promoting the, like, the 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 restaurants or whatever – but like I said, you bring out local musicians and stuff. And yeah, like I know. There, last time I was there, there was a musician that I know from um, our childhood restaurant going. His name's Fulvio, I think, and he plays the guitar. 
Oh, it's oh, a keyboard you guitar. Mm -hmm. You don't see that too often anymore. Stuff. And he like has the microphone over his ear, like he's in a boy band, and he sings like Italian <laughs> classics. That's sick. That's pretty cool. And he used to come to the restaurant we um, worked at, and we'd sit there like at the bar while we were working, and just be like, "What the hell? <laughs> what talent is going on? What talent does it take to play that instrument? Yeah. I can barely play the guitar." <laughs> and by barely, I've been I've had a guitar since 2017, and I still only know four chords. Nice. So do a punk band. That's all you. Never, never mind. <laughs> just, just, mm. Power chords and just mix them up. Just be all emotional. Yeah. And just scream a lot. There you go, bro. Where eyeliner? Just mosh pit. Yeah. yeah. Dude. I could uh, get the crowd fired up for the mosh pit. <laughs> I mean, go. we could do it. <laughs> we pull it off. Maybe that'll be my villain costume, Mosh Man. Mosh Man. <laughs> It's a, it's a good one. That I, really got, look at, I got his fit. It I got his brain churning on it. <laughs> yeah, I just think what you do is awesome. Thanks, man. I really um, appreciate that. So, what? I guess we'll end it with what are your like top five places in Doylestown? Oh, geez, for what? Put you on the spot. Um, I guess for like anything, really. Yeah, we'll we'll go top five anything, and then we'll do top five restaurants. Okay. Well, I top. It's like. I know Britt said this, but it's like asking me to pick a. I know it's out. hard. It's a re like I f didn't realize how difficult um, it would be, but I like putting you on the spot. Okay, that's fine. Like, I'm kind of used to it. You uh, look like you're quick on your feet. Like Evolution Candy, I love them because I love their vibe and what they do. Okay, we'll have to check them out. Uh, I love Makers Off Maine. Okay, they're very good as well. The County Theater, I love the fact they rebuilt that and they actually do a lot of local films for that as well. Um, Jeez, there's so many, dude. I'm just going to go right into restaurants right now. There's just so All many right. places. Right. Like, uh, jeez, uh, you know, the Wawa's nice. <laughs> 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 well, they are. Yeah, shout they're out to pre Wawa. They're pretty cool. The Doylestown Wawa is pretty cool. But, uh, no, like, uh, then there's Villa Capri. Okay. Like, one of the best, like, overall vibes you'll get at, in, like, nightlife. And they do a lot for the community. Um, Hopscotch, great, great place to go. What's Hopscotch? I've never even it's heard It's like of a it. bar. Okay. It's a bar, and they actually can, like, order from the rest of the restaurants in there, and they bring it to you if you're there. So it's kind of oh, wow. cool. It's in the it's in the that market? marketplace. Oh, yeah. okay. So it's there. Uh, Mercantile is pretty cool as well. Mm. Like, you go in there, there's so many local makers and artists. Like, same with Makers Off Main. They have all these local artists and stuff. I and think like, that's the first time I laid eyes on you. Yeah. Was at, like, I went into that store, and there's, like, that brewery or whatever in the back, I guess. It's a brewery. Yeah. And... You had a whole squad of people there, so I was like, I'm not going up to any of these people. I'm just going <laughs> to hang back here. Yeah. But that's the mercantile was kind of cool. Like, It had so much stuff there. Yeah, th it that's literally, what I'm saying. It looked like all local like artisans and stuff like that that they had for sale, and I was like, this is a really cool idea. Yeah, it's definitely cool. Like, um, And like I said, like there's also the, like, the makers off Maine do the same thing. So. They do the same similar exactly, kind of thing? Yeah, it's like it's all about our local makers, artists, everything. Okay. So they're they're both great. And then I, d I do like – this is the wild side of Ninja. I do like Chambers too for like their after party. Like they always have like a full dance floor. Is that night. the place where there's a dance floor downstairs? No, that closed. That's That was Stephanie's, oh, I believe. Stephanie's. Yeah, I never went in there actually. E. Never been in there. I haven't been in Stephanie's either. I've heard either. some stories, though. I don't though. know what that is, but it doesn't sound like a good time. No, it, you don't uh, want to, like, know. you know in, you know in. They're closed um, now. They're shut down, so. Oh, yeah. You yeah. know in Inglorious Bastards where he's like, you don't have, you don't have to be a military strategist to know you don't want to fight in a basement. Mm -hmm. That's Stephanie's. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to party in a basement. Fuck that. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, the ceilings were low. It's dark. It's like you're in a basement. Yeah, save that for high school, you know. Yeah. That's kind of was when we would go there. Mm. Well, right. They didn't know we were in high school, though. There you go. That's the thing. High school. High school. Um, yeah, so that's. Uh, I'll definitely have to check out the makers off Maine. I don't think I've ever been there. No, and I'm then like, the candy spot. They off. actually made these shirts for me. Oh, no way. Yeah, so. Do they do printing there? They do. Oh. Yeah, yeah, talk to Caitlin. There Just you go. How Hi, about Caitlin. embroidery? What's that? Do they do, like, embroidery? Um, I don't know. Actually. Maybe. They do a lot. Dude. They do a ton of workshops there, too. So, like, I do recommend them. Like so you can do like you can go on kind of like a date and do some like arts and yeah. craft stuff. You go on their website, like they'll definitely have like all these events. Like they have so many events for the community. Makers off me. Yeah, they are just like huge shout out to them, to be honest. Tim, do you remember those smoke balls when we were kids who we like th like dig holes in the backyard and like drop smoke in there? And they're very passionate about 
like bring in the attention the to our space website. Stuff. I like it. Yeah, they're 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 great, man. Do they have a calendar, Gilmore? They should on face. They have it on um, on Instagram, Facebook, Instagram. Yeah, one of the, either or really. So they're right there. But you should definitely check them out because yeah, they're definitely. We'll have to try and get them on the show. Definitely, yeah, you would. That they'd be great. They're very. They have good personalities. Like I like. They're both uh, Kaylin and Wendy. They're they're awesome people. Yeah, there you go. Like I love working with them. So. Like I said, Evolution Candy. You Wood Burning that. Workshop. Yes, that's coming up, I believe. It's pretty cool. That'd be cool. Can we click on that one just to see? We might have to. We might have to go to that. Thursday. It's tonight. Ah. We go. <laughs> Actually, what time? Are we late? Because I show up late, like usually all the eight. time. Yeah, it's six twenty-two. <laughs> it's over at eight. Yeah. Dude, that's so cool. It, I know a tattoo artist that's like way into that style of art. And I've always, you know. That's actually one of my how-to videos. I went there for the wood-burning workshop. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It was it was really cool. And Brett Around Town was there. So you do all your own content then? Like, you don't have, like... I do it all, yeah. Yeah. No one does it for me. You do you, you do a good job. Thanks, man. I'm, I'm trying. I'm getting better. Yeah. At first, it was a little, eh. Now I got, the, like, these things. On my, I only do it on my phone, really. Yeah, it's crazy what the phones can do now. Yeah, I got, like, these programs and stuff. And I try to do the best. Now I'm trying to make it more professional-looking. So, you know how that is. It's a little bit more. Yeah, you know, one percent better every day. Yeah, exactly. I just work to improve. Like this, my new designs I have coming out, logos. Dude, are you gonna do stickers? I am. But my main, my main thing, you'll see it again. It will come up. It's all about community. That's my main purpose. It's all about the community. Yeah, I love how positive your message is. Thank you, man. I appreciate that because. That means a lot to me, actually, to hear that. Yeah, no, yeah. it's – it's it. maybe it's just, like, thrown in front of our faces because of the way, like, news media is and just people are right now. But it's always when someone's, like, has that positivity and they're, you know, authentic about it, it's always, like, kind of, like, it feels like there's hope. It's like, oh, there's hope for people, mm-hmm. you know. There's always hope. There's always yeah. hope. And it's just, like I said – um, in the end of the day, like we put all our stuff aside, right? So I'm sorry, my eyes are always always like looking everywhere. But it's like, fine. You got to be ready ready for oh, I, attacks. that's actually what I'm saying. I'm always scanning. Like that's how I am. Yeah. And like at the end of the day, we're all people, right? Like regardless how you feel, who you love, what you believe in, how you were born, who you're dating, you know, what like religion you believe in, whatever. We're all people in the end of the day, and that's what people got to get in their heads. That it's really that simple. Mm. In my opinion, it kind of is. I mean, I may be wrong, probably am, according to a bunch of people. But no, I think you're. I don't think you're wrong at all. I think um, you're you're hitting the nail right on the head. I think everybody wants the same stuff, like or the same things. Like they want success, they want stability, they yeah. want good health. Um, everybody just really disagrees on how we get there. Yeah, and at the end of the day, we all want the same things. That we're all in this life together. Yeah. So that's kind of like my biggest thing with the community thing. Like that's that's it. Yeah, I love the community thing mainly because, um, I mean, we talk about moving all the time, just like moving down south or moving somewhere where it's like more tight knit. Yeah. Um, because it's kind of weird to go out and, you know, I mean, a lot of times I look like I'm angry as anything. <laughs> but like, I'll, like I'll sometimes try and put myself out there. Be like, oh, today I'm gonna try, and I'll be like, oh, I'll say hello, and they'll just look at me like I'm an asshole. <laughs> and I'll be like, all right, well, I'm sorry, I'll just go back to my shell. Well, that's <laughs> so. Like, you, I do actually. It's funny you said that because I like walk around town. I say hi to everybody whenever I walk by them because it's you're. Hey, how's it going? Yeah. And some people ignore you straight out. They're like, don't talk to. And me. I'm just like, and I like I walk a few feet. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Like in my head, but other than that, and like, and then the next person will be like, "Hey, oh my God, hi, hey." It's so refreshing when yeah, people it, it just is. like want to at least say hello. Like, I'm not expecting to every person I meet to come on a podcast or like have a long conversation with me, but yeah. it's, you know, it's just kind of like I'm learning to kind of put myself out there, and I'm learning that nobody, like, I thought I was the only one that wouldn't get out there, um, but now I'm realizing that like it's more rare to be like yourself, so you know yeah. kudos, kudos to you like Thank you should you feel really good about that I, I, I am proud of myself for being myself you, you really should be yeah yeah i mean like either you like me or you don't and i'm 
that's how it is. It is. Yeah. So, unfortunately, you know, someday we'll get there, but we're all, we're working on it. A work. Human race is a work we're in progress. We're working on it. Yes. We should we should conclude with just like a touch of the swords. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if you want to find the Doylestown ninja, <laughs> just like I'm not ready, just wax me in the face. Like, how'd you, how'd <laughs> you get never. the black eye? Be like. <laughs> You want to hear a story? I have a sword stuck in the side <laughs> of your head. You want to hear a story? <laughs> the funny thing about these story, the story behind these swords, though, when we were younger, my my brother and I were living with my my father for a short period of time, and he was away on a business trip, and we went to we we went shopping on a Saturday. We tried to hit the flea market and buy some weapons. Turned up not so well. I found ourselves in New Hope at the karate store or like not the karate store, the store that used to sell like samurai swords and stuff. They against have s- the grain. Was That's that it? It was called against yeah, the oh, grain. Oh, the second floor. They would yeah. sell legit battle axes and stuff. My friend bought a Braveheart sword from there. Yeah. So we've, <laughs> we've definitely, when we got our dollars up, we bought swords from there for real. But at the time we were not as uh, financially stable as children. So we bought these wooden swords for I think $20 a piece. And we were in my dad's basement while he was away. And the first swing of the sword found one of the swords like damaging the drywall on the ceiling <laughs> and we were all like oh shit <laughs> no we're dead yeah <laughs> so i love these swords <laughs> so these are great training swords too yeah i mean they're good for sell- settling office disputes and you know disagreements and things because nobody <laughs> will, nobody will die but you can get your point across with a good wooden sword mm-hmm. i mean it does hurt <laughs> yeah, you get swacked with this. It does hurt. It does hurt, yeah. But, uh, yeah, so you can find Doylestown Ninja out and about in Doylestown and now Bucks County, allegedly Souderton. Um, and you can find him on Instagram, Doylestown Ninja, well, right? Is that the best way to get a hold of you? That's it. And then your email's on there, too. So if you want to yes. book him uh, for anything or have him come through, just shoot him an email. And, uh, dude, thanks for coming on the show so much. Absolutely, like, man. Pound, thanks right? for having I me. I really appreciate like, you coming time. through. Ready? There we go. We'll do one, two for. We'll just go top. Oh, oh, now it's real. <laughs> now it's real. That's real. The friendship. I did a little aggressive at the end, but it's, it's all right, like yeah. that's how we play. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So thanks for listening. Hit the subscribe button, um, and uh, we'll see you next week. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Thank you once again.